Welcome to the Kale Hauser Leadership Secrets Podcast. Today, let's try on thoughts. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Kale Hauser Leadership Secrets Podcast. My name is Kale Hauser. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is the second of three, at least three at this point, of my little takeaways from Marcus Lemonis, CEO of Camping World and star of the Profit TV show on CNBC, no longer airing, but go back and watch the reruns because it is well worth your time. And then I think he has a new show coming out or, if, or it has come out called uh, The Renovator, uh, I think on CNBC as well. If you missed the previous episode, the one just before this, absolutely please, please, please go back and listen to it because this kind of sets up, you know, who Marcus Lemonis is. I'm not going to go into his whole biography again, um, but why I felt that these are important takeaways and from somebody that I think is worth listening to, especially if you are a leader in your business, an entrepreneur, a business owner, or have any sort of leadership position that you have influence over other people. Now, I talked previously about, he had talked about the difference between opportunity and responsibility in a sense of he provides opportunities for people, but it is not his responsibility as the giver to ensure that they take advantage of that, of that opportunity. Uh, it is not his responsibility to ensure their success or that they you know, honored his gift or anything of that. His responsibility to provide the gift and opportunity as he is able, in this case, definitely able because he's a multi, 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 multi-millionaire. Um, but what we do with those gifts as we are given them by various people throughout our life and our business and our relationships and community and churches and wherever uh, is entirely up to us. And we have no one else to blame but ourselves when we don't take advantage of those opportunities that are given to us. So the second thing that I wanted to present to you as a takeaway from Funnel Hacking Live and Marcus Lemonis being the keynote speaker actually came before the previous, uh, but I, w I was so excited about talking about the previous one because it was such a one of those slap in the moment faces and, and aha moments for me. But this is another one that really kind of got me thinking. It got my mind churning a little bit going, huh, this is a really interesting concept. And, and the concept is trying on thoughts. Now he was going through this whole kind of uh, I don't know if act is the right word, but this, this motion where he had brought a, a coat rack out onto stage and it had a bunch of different, just kind of goofy clothes on it. Think clothes that, you know, you would really never wear, like, you know, super bright lime green sweat jogging suit and, you know, really just kind of off the wall clothing. And as he was going throughout his talk and his presentation, he was putting on these different clothes and kind of talking about, you know, how does this make you feel? And like, this is the, I put this coat on when I'm feeling insecure and all these different things, uh, which was interesting in itself. But during the middle of it, he brought up this concept of, you know, we, we try on clothes all the time. We go through clothes all the time. We, we buy clothes, we give away clothes, discard clothes, clothes get used, they fall out of fashion. Uh, we don't feel like wearing them anymore for whatever reason because of how they make, they feel, make us feel. And he says, what I want you to encourage you to do is to do the same thing with your thoughts, especially when presented with new information, with new thoughts, with new opportunities. He says, try on your thoughts like you do your clothes. And I'm going, okay, well, that's kind of interesting. Like, all right, you got me, tell me more, right? And of course he did. He says, when you do this, just like when you try on clothes, you're presented with a new thought, whether it be a thought that comes to you of like, hey, I, I'm thinking about doing this thing or, or you know, asking this girl out or talking to this boy or whatever that is, you have this thought that comes to you of its own volition, um, or you're presented with some information, you know, maybe you're presented with an opportunity or, or you have the, the chance to, to do or take some action, right? You're presented with a thought and he says, what you want to do is, yeah, you want to evaluate it, evaluate it for fit, evaluate it for quality, Evaluate it for how it looks on you, how it's going to make you feel and your overall satisfaction with it. Because there are some thoughts that at the surface of it, and maybe the initial reaction is like, yeah, cool, let's do that, or I'm going to do that. But then as you kind of really evaluate that thought or that idea and how it applies to specifically your goals and your desires, 
it might not be a good fit. It not, might not contribute to your overall satisfaction, or it might be a temporary gain in that thing, but in the long term, it may hurt you or not lead you in the direction that you've been trying to go. Uh, it could be a distraction, right? So, and it was really interesting because, yeah, you know, we've all done that. We've all been in, in a fitting room at some point, whether it was as a, a young child with your parents and your mom's making you try on those jeans or those tennis shoes or that shirt because she doesn't want to have to come back and return it because you get home and it's the wrong size. Uh, or you've stood with your, your spouse or significant other while they've tried on, you know, 30 dresses. You know, if you've been married, you've absolutely been through this process of, uh, you know, especially with wedding gowns and tuxedos and all that kind of stuff. But we go through this process of trying on clothes and you need to do the same thing. Mainly asking yourself, how does it make you feel? How does this thought make you feel? Does it revulsion like oh like i'm never gonna do that or that that's you know absolutely against my morals values convictions whatever it is or is it something of like wow that is the most exciting thing i've come up with or thought about in a really long time and it's really now got me really got me going and i can't sleep at night because i'm constantly thinking about it and how to implement and all those types of things like how does it make you feel but another thing to think about, similar to clothes, and a, and a big reason a lot of us buy certain clothes versus another besides fit and form and function is, what does it present for us to the rest of the world? How does the rest of the world see us through these clothes, see us through this thought and this idea? Like if I have these thoughts, if I have this idea and I'm, and I'm analyzing and thinking about it, how is the world going to view me? Okay, and that's with any action because the world views you as something. It could be good, could be bad, it could be absolutely vanilla one way or another. Like some, you know, you're you under the radar, right? As I talked about in my previous podcast. But it could be, you know, what image are you projecting the world in the form of how you you take these thoughts and put them into action? And like I said, does this thought fit in? And this should be kind of the ultimate litmus test of does it fit in with your goals, with your desires, with the direction you are taking yourself in the form of however that thought or idea relates to your life? Because this could be in your relationship, this could be with your kids, this could be in your business with employees, all those types of things. We have thoughts every single day and these kind of left rights that we have to decide, like, oh, we're gonna go this way, we're gonna do this, no, nope, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna do this, and then, you know, it's just this constant, you know, boom, 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 making decisions throughout our day and life. And sometimes we get so caught up in just the mundane of getting through the decisions because maybe you've gotta make a lot of them that we forget to evaluate. We forget to try on that thought and if it even aligns with our goals, our convictions, our desires, and all those things. But then as you continue down this path, maybe you've accepted that thought, right? You evaluate it like, yep, this is absolutely where we wanna go. This is, this is our path. This is aligns with what I want to do with our business, with my team, um, with my family, my kids, whatever. And now fast forward, some point in the future, this could be months, this could be days, this could be years in the future, and that thought comes to you again, or you continue to have the thought, you need to reevaluate that. There's a reason that people aren't going around wearing their, you know, super tight cutoff jeans or their brown, you know, blouses and stuff, or their hair isn't in these big old bangs like they were in, in the 80s and 70s and early 90s, right? I wore some of the most absolutely ridiculous clothes as a young man, teenager in the early 90s that, you know, I got caught up, I'm a little bit ashamed to say, honest moment into the whole kind of, I guess, hip hop era where it was all bright colors big baggy pants and all that kind of stuff, you know, God bless my parents and their willingness to put up with me and, and kind of let me go through that phase. Um, and thank God I outgrew that phase as I, you know, became older and a little bit more smarter, relatively speaking, uh, and mature. But there's a reason we don't continue to dress like that in those styles that were in vogue back then, whatever it was, you know, bell bottoms, although we are cyclically cyclic in nature uh, with with clothing styles but do those things that you maybe have decided on previously do they still fit you know maybe your goals have changed your desires have changed the direction your company has changed do those things still fit and you need to go through that reevaluation of trying on that thought again under these new circumstances under these new um environment that you may find yourself in right so that 
it was just really fascinating, you know, mixed with the visual as he's putting on these kind of ridiculous outfits of like, oh, you know, what do I look like to the world? And how does this outfit make me feel? All these things. And, and do we do that consciously with our thoughts, on purpose with the thoughts that we have? Um, and it was this, you know, just this concept of try on thoughts like you do your clothes. So I would really encourage you to do that, um, especially if you're presented with new information or, or have a, a significant choice to make. Don't do it just on the surface level. Kind of try it on. How does it fit? How does it make you feel? You know, if you're, you know, either or, if you, you know, especially if you've got like a either or type of a situation to, a uh, decision to make, you know, try it on. What would it make you feel like in either scenario? How would you look? You know, what would it mean to your business and all those types of things? Can you look yourself in the mirror after making one of the just choices? Or can you, would you be hiding and not being true to yourself? All those types of stuff. Just the point of it being, do it consciously, do it purposely, and do it with a filter of, is this you? Does this align with who you are and what you want your business to be? Make sense? All right. Stay tuned tomorrow for part three, at least part three as of right now. Uh, it's, I think, pretty legit. And it was actually his kind of defining wrap-up moment and his huge aha big takeaway of the whole keynote speech that uh, Russell Brunson probably paid him a lot of money to come give. So. I would encourage you to show up tomorrow and take a listen and at least hear my thoughts on it, if you will. Hey, thank you for joining me. Again, Kale Hauser. Make sure you visit kalehauserleadership.com. Let me know what you think. I'll leave comments, like, subscribe. Shares are fantastic no matter where you're at in the world. Have a fantastic afternoon. Bye.